thanks for stopping by the Sister Cousins Lifestyle channel. My name is Sandy, and in today's video, I'm going to be decorating my tree in my primary suite uh, for Christmas 2023. I love having a Christmas tree in my room. This is probably my maybe fifth year having one in my um, bedroom, and I absolutely love it. If I only go down to having one tree in my home, for Christmas, it will definitely be the bedroom tree because it is the one that I truly enjoy the most. And I'm really excited this year because I'm going to be using some colors I've never used before. I have fallen in love with the brown and the coppers and those colors. And so I shared in a few videos back where I did some DIYs to try to get some of my existing ornaments kind of updated so that I could use them for this color scheme so that I didn't have to go out and buy all new ornaments because that's very expensive. So I think that I got enough to kind of pull it off. I bought a few ornaments here and there and I did some DIYs. So if you'd like to see how this tree comes together, keep watching. Here are a couple of the colors that I'm using. Like I said, the copper and the brown, the tan, the caramels, whatever color you want. I just wanted a lot of the shades of brown in this tree. Now I ran into a little bit of a problem here, so I had to call in some reinforcement. The top of the tree was not lighting. This tree is probably, I don't know, maybe five, six years old, not quite sure. But um, yeah, one of the lights have, had gone out on the top of the tree. See how it is just on the bottom of the tree. So we had to get that fixed. So crisis averted and we can get back to decorating. At least I thought it was fixed, but it'll eventually go out again. I ended up just stringing some lights on here so that I could keep this process going. Um, but this tree, I'll have to remember that if I'm going to use it again, I will have to use some uh, a string or two of lights on the top portion. I'm decorating four trees in my home this year, one in my living room that I've already shared on the channel. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to stop by and check that one out. I'll link it in the description box below. I'm decorating this tree here. I will have one in my home office and one in the family room. Like I said, I'm most excited about this one. Uh, one, because it's in the bedroom and I do like that. And also because I am using some colors that I've never used before. And I've got a couple new really nice ornaments that I love. Like this one here with this stag hat on the top. I thought this was gorgeous. I got that from Joann's. Um, they only had a couple left in stock, which I picked them up. But I just thought they were so pretty and I absolutely love that color. I love it when you start decorating the tree and it starts to come to life. Like I'm starting to see my vision now with my different shades. I just think it's looking so pretty so far. I have to use a lot of ornaments on my trees, like all the way around the tree because I love to use rotating stands. Uh, so the tree goes around so you will see the back side as well. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm decorating to include the back. I was so excited to start putting the ornaments on. I forgot I had my ribbon. So I am going to go in and put some of my ribbon in. And it's not a big, big deal because I typically just cut my ribbon into little strips and kind of tuck it in anyway. This ribbon is so pretty. It's like a, a caramel uh wired ribbon very very heavy duty and great wiring in there on both sides so i can make bows with it very easily um if that's what i wanted to do or yeah so we're gonna go ahead and tuck some of these in so the reason that I cut my ribbon and uh, use that method is because I find that it's easier. And in some cases, I take it like this and I just kind of um, make some loops like this and just kind of um, put them inside of the tree. Sometimes I tie them in. Sometimes I just kind of nestle it in there if I feel like it will stay. Um, like I said, this ribbon is some super good quality ribbon. Like the wire on this is like none other than I've worked with before. So it is very, very stable. And I love that about it. I wish I had gotten a couple of rolls of it, but it was just too pricey. I picked it up at one of those Christmas tree stores and wow, it's really, really nice. So I don't have a lot left, but I do want to be sure to get some throughout the entire tree. I'm loving the way that it looks uh, with the addition of the color. It kind of looks orange on camera, but it is not. It's like a caramel brown type of color, but it looks really, really pretty with the color scheme. 
I try to tuck all the ends, but if I have a little loose piece that ends up hanging out, I'll just go in and do a little dovetail cut on it just so that it'll look nice um, even though it's sticking out. And I like that look as well. So tell me in the comments below, what colors are you using for your Christmas tree or trees this year in your home? I'd love to hear what color selection that you're going with. All right, so we've got the ribbon on and I've used all that I had. This ribbon is so, so pretty and it's so easy to work with. It's really heavy. I think I already said that. So let me just stop. Let me show you these um, ornaments too. These are so pretty. These are some pine cones with a little frost on them, which I think are so pretty. And they're in that copper color. So I thought they would be a good thing to add uh oh if i don't break them before i get started here add it to the tree look at that isn't that pretty so we're gonna go ahead and add some of those into the tree this is another ornament that i found at joann's again they did not have very many of them but i did pick up a few of them um, because they matched with the color scheme. This color, this color palette apparently went viral and everyone was looking for these colors. So they were really hard to come by. So between the few that I picked up here and there and my DIYs, I felt that I had enough until I didn't. <laughs> after I got this tree together. So now I've used all of the ornaments that I have and I'm just feeling like it just needs more. I, I love a full tree. So I'm going to go ahead and put my star on the top of the tree, but I'm going to need to figure out something here because I just don't feel like it has enough. This is my first year in a long time actually using a tree topper, a traditional type tree topper. In recent years, I've been using um, picks and just kind of creating my own tree topper. But this year, I just wasn't feeling that and just decided to try a tree topper. Um, it's okay, but I think I'll go back to my stems and my picks later. But this is what the tree is looking like. And like I said, I don't feel like it is as full as I want it to be. So I started to think, okay, you can't get any more of these ornaments because the colors are just not there. So what about playing with some black ornaments to see if you just throw in a couple of those? Does that add a nice element? I like it. But I had another option as well, and that was these uh, leopard print Um ornaments and I decided to go with those because I just felt like that was very unexpected it matches nicely and you know I just kind of liked it so that's what I did I'm still kind of playing around with whether I want to pop a few black ones in there I did not end up uh, doing that I set it there just to kind of look at it for a while but you know the leopard was just doing it for me and to me, leopard is a very unexpected twist for a Christmas tree. So I like that as well. I like to have my unique twist on whatever trend I'm on board with. I'm not a trend follower in general, but there are certain trends that I see that I definitely want to participate in. And this one, actually, I jumped on board with it not even knowing. I just saw the color uh, and just said, I want these colors, only to find out later that everybody liked these colors this year. And so the bulbs were selling out everywhere. But nevertheless, I got um, the look that I wanted to create and I am loving the way that it turned out. I have to play around more with what I'm going to do under my tree because as I said, I like the rotating stand. I just love the look of that. But um, with that, you're limited in where you can place things because it obstructs the rotation. And then I also have to be careful not to pull it out too far because it obstructs my walking space in my bedroom. You have to let me know below what you think of this tree. Hopefully you can see it. That ribbon is gorgeous. I love that. And I definitely want to pick some more of that up at the end of the season. Um, love these as well. Those are really, really pretty in that rich mocha color. Yeah. So this is one that I DIY. This is one I DIY. This is one I DIY. But they mixed in really, really nicely with the ones that I purchased. And they're all throughout the tree. So when I bought in the browns, of course, that created a dilemma for me for my bedroom because that's not a color that I use in my bedroom. My bedroom is primarily black, white, and a little bit of gray. 
Um, so, I, of course, I wanted things to kind of coordinate. I don't know. That's just me. Um, but I wasn't going out spending any money. So, I started looking around, shopping my home to see what I had in place that I could bring into this. Those uh, leopard presents was one example. I'd had those already as I had the bulbs already before, too. I used them before with a red tree. So, now I'm using them with uh, my shades of... Um, caramel and mocha and all of that so i love that i'm able to kind of mix and match my colors once i once i made the investment to be able to use them with other colors so that was nice but i looked around and i found a pillow let me show you so i found this um pillow cover here that i brought that out i also had those caramel colored or camel i could call them caramel camel colored pillows uh, these are in the fold leather, and I've used these in my living room, so I bought those in to put them in the room. I've got all different shades going here, but that's okay. I did purchase this throw here. It was uh, $16.99 from Home Goods. I did purchase that to kind of complete the look because I love it. It is so pretty. It just looks like kind of rich like mink. So I did that. And then I had to, um, I left my nightstands pretty much the same. I didn't do anything different there. I usually keep this um, table here. So I just put a, some greenery in here um, that has little snowflakes on it. My tree is flocked. So it was kind of nice to kind of bring that in here with this vase that I already had. And then on my um, shelves, I have twin shelves in here. So on this one, I put uh, one of my deer and I love it that he's kind of looking back. He's looking over here at the tree, y'all. Look at that, isn't he cute? And I got these little trees here. I got those at the end of the season last year at Hobby Lobby when they were 90% off. They were a little skimpy. They were left over. You know, once they get to 90% off, there's nothing left too much. But they still work, and I thought they were cute here. So um, I'll probably eventually get something to put them down in or whatever to kind of fancy them up. Maybe even put a couple bulbs on them, make me a little Charlie Brown tree or something like that. This is a vase that I've had for a while. I usually use that in my entryway, but I decided to put that in here. And these are just two picks that I just sat down in there. Nothing, nothing extra. I'm trying to show you the stem. Just two picks that are the same. And I just put them down in there. And then I have an empty candle vessel. I love to buy nice candle vessels. That way, once you're done with the candle, you take the wax out and use it as a little vase or whatever. In this case, I'm using it as a book stand. This was actually my planner, and it just happened to be in kind of like an animal print. So I just decided to bring that in and put that there. And then I just have a box here. And then I just have a couple coffee table books and my tic-tac-toe there. So that's what that shelf is looking like. I had a piece of uh, leftover um, leopard ribbon. So I just kind of put that on him. I'll probably work with that and get him looking a little bit better. But yeah, I think it looks cute. Now going over here to my other shelf, I've got another deer here. And this one has his head up in the air like he does not care about anything. <laughs> And another one of those little trees that I got from Hobby Lobby. Again, they were really skimpy. I want to say these trees were like $2 on the 90% off rack. I, something like that. They were really, really, really cheap. And then these are some ornaments. They were white. They were the antlers. I meant to cut the strings off and I probably still will. But they're ornaments. But I'm just using them as base filler. And I just put a little spray paint on them to make them, I was trying to make them more of that brown color, but because they were white, they kind of pulled more of the gold, which is okay. So I just put them in this bowl with some pine cones. I probably will take these um, ornament hooks off. I don't know. I may or I may not. If I take the hooks off, then I can't use them from ornaments down the road. So we'll see. And then here I just have a coffee table book open here on my stand and uh, a magnifying glass. And then on this shelf, I just have a book. I mean, a, a box here. And then my little geode here. So, yeah. That's that shelf and the twin shelf over there. 
Well, that's the end of my decorating video for my primary suite for Christmas for 2023. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it inspiring. Um, if you did, please don't leave without hitting that thumbs up button. Also hit that subscribe button if you're not currently subscribed. I would love to have you stick around and become a part of the Sister Cousins Lifestyle channel. And to all my returning family members, thank you so, so much. Hopefully you're knee deep and you're decorating in your homes. And I hope to see you all over here on my next one. Bye-bye.